Wow, so thankful for our local farmers. Thank you, Nick, for that story. And as we know, finding meat at the store has been very difficult, but not as difficult as finding things like hand soap and hand sanitizer. As a matter of fact, they have been sold out on store shelves for weeks. So one man took it upon himself to help not only himself find some sanitizer, but also all the neighbors around him. Jenna Krasina has his story. I had more than I needed and was happy to give it to other people. Last week, Mark Cox found himself with extra hand sanitizer after ordering it online. I went on to Amazon to see if I could actually get some for myself. Realized that if you kind of know a couple of tricks about how online stores work, I was able to get some for myself, for my family, and then realized I could still get more. And just decided to kind of pass it out to the people in my community. And pass it on he did. Got really good at actually supporting each other when the chips are down. By putting it in the mailboxes of about 20 neighbors in the Gills Creek area who didn't have the same luck finding it. Many stores and online sites are sold out of items like hand sanitizer, but Cox says he had a secret up his sleeve. The trick is just hit refresh as many times as you possibly can. On the bottles, he left a sticker saying, be good to each other, be safe, and we will get through this together. Very many of them were very thankful. Um, some of them dropped off some thank you notes. A couple of them came over and said thank you in person and then hit me up on Facebook as well. So everybody's been real thankful for it and I'm happy to do it. And now he hopes others will also do neighborly gestures moving forward. We actually show our most gracious selves and our best part of humanity when, when things actually make us step up and realize things are more important. So hopefully somebody else will look at what I've done and... Uh, Take that and be kind to each other and help each other get through it uh, as much as possible. In Columbia, Jenna Corzina, News 19, WLTX.